The madness started with a trip to State College to open up the fall season with some football and tailgating. There was more anticipation for this Penn State football team than any other year that I can remember, and I've been following the program for most of my life. I won't put it on here, man. Cheers. Man, come in there, Cusker, uh... Cusker YouTube channel. Yeah, man. Oh, we had a busy summer. Yeah. No, bathroom score. Have <laughs> another beer, dude. Ready for a beer? Thanks. Try to be smaller. Where do you want to go to? Be a lot of messaging. Yeah. Call oh, for me. With a 7 o'clock kickoff under the lights at home, the Nittany Lion faithful was out in droves, and the energy was palpable. The game didn't disappoint, and it felt good to get a little wild and crazy again for a day with my friends. But then, a few weeks later, I joined the party down at the land for a night of camping. At this point of the year, I found myself juggling many different things in my day-to-day -day life that I didn't really have time to enjoy the seasonal changes outside. So for an annual event where I stay for two or three nights usually, I could only justify being away for only one. Pick that puppy. Is your dad coming? Yeah. Dude. It's huge. A couple years ago, I, dude, I got, it's not this kind, but. Take it with me. I picked the mushroom down in the valley here. There's some color down here. Well, good. That's what I came for. <laughs> yeah, it is. First fell, it blocked your view from there. Oh, yeah. To look down or up the valley. There's some more, like, darker yellows here than other years. There's some. 
I don't know, Dougie might be down here in this hole. It was the end of September, and a few select trees were the first ones to start the leaf changing party. As the trees in the valley were in their early stages of color, we brought our chairs down and sat under them while enjoying the company. It might seem like a strange thing to do, but if you've never done anything like this before, I highly recommend giving it a try sometime. You just might enter a state of relaxation and peace that you never thought was possible. See you, Doug. Make some good dip. Yep. Hasta <laughs> luego. Hasta luego. Catch you ready? the rebound. You ready for oh, is that what that means? Oh no, you're right, South Carolina. Wait, wait, hold on. I think oh, my map's floating, but I'm pretty yeah, sure this is the right spot. No. Yeah, Historic sites in Susquehanna I State now. Park. I don't think there's no. more than one. Put Susquehanna State Park. <laughs> oh wait, Susquehanna. You guys got the fire going and everything already. And everything. All right. Okay. Uh-oh. No, no, that's not it. We had a discussion <laughs> down below. Yeah. Susquehanna State Park is in Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> oh, shit. Look, get out your beer gammon. Let's go. We got to shut him up. We got to shut him up. Operator, whatever he's calling us, that, that's like that little line right there. Yeah, um, National Federal was all over the place up there. I worked in them quite a bit before I went to the line. Looks good already. Uh, I know. I've never made this recipe before, so. Oh, yeah? What is that, Popeye? I'm sure you can't go Chicken wrong with Popeye. it. Seriously. It's hard to mess up. Yeah. And everything is cooked. Potatoes need to soften up. That's about it. Yeah. Brown the pastry on top, and that's about it. You're gonna put coals on top of the. Yeah, that's the why I saved a couple oven. in there. Yeah. The days were still warm, but the nighttime temperatures were gradually dropping, assuring us that we were well into fall, and that October was right around the corner.
she knocked your head on that. <laughs> All right, Dougie. Then, before I knew it, I woke up and it was October, and the days flew by as fast as ever. I went on my weekend trip up to Vermont, and shortly after that, the countless amounts of trick-or-treating events began trickling into the calendar. One of those events we took the kids to this year was one that is held yearly at our nearby state park. The weekend campers all decorate their campsites with Halloween spooks, and many of them put on quite the elaborate show. It's certainly a lot to look at and quite the spectacle to see.
Then we hosted a bunch of friends to begin their trick-or-treating on Halloween at our house. And my favorite month was gone and over with in a flash. I did get out to capture some of the local foliage throughout the month, but hardly felt like I had any time to take it in and enjoy the changes this year. On one of those weekends, we spent an afternoon at a nearby farm to take part in the seasonal activities. Hay rides, hay bale mazes, bounce houses, slides. By now, the kids are old enough that they know exactly what they are getting themselves into whenever we go. I got out a couple of times to find the foliage, but it never seems like it's enough to satisfy my cravings. The local scenery was as pretty as any other year, and my personal schedule was as busy as ever. I could hardly find much time to even work on the treehouse. Slowly but surely, it was coming along. But more of that in another video. When the sun began to set on my favorite time of year, I thought about how I can make sure that things go a bit differently for next year. While trying to appreciate this one, no matter how much we feel like we've missed out on something so pleasing, there is always a lesson that can be learned. And that is exactly what I felt I have done this fall. <laughs>